Hi there, welcome to our channel. As you already know, please like the video and comment below what you would like to see on our channel. Have you ever wondered how the notorious Italian Mafia came to be? To uncover the roots of this clandestine organization, we must journey back to 19th century Sicily. Back then Sicily was a region grappling with dire poverty, rampant corruption, and a scarcity of opportunities for its inhabitants. It was within this socio-economic crucible that the Italian Mafia, or as it's more insidiously known, Cosa Nostra, began to take shape. Now the term Cosa Nostra translates to, Our Thing in Sicilian, a name that subtly hints at the secretive nature of the organization and its notorious code of silence. But what may surprise you is that the Mafia didn't start as the criminal syndicate we know today. No, it was born out of a need for protection and justice by the weak against the oppression of the ruling class and landowners. Imagine a time when the law was often absent or impotent, unable to protect those who most needed it. In stepped the Cosa Nostra, presenting itself as a guardian against injustice, a beacon in the face of relentless oppression. They offered protection where the state failed, and justice where the courts could not. The Mafia in its infancy was seen as a necessary evil, a lesser of two evils if you will, in a society bereft of law and order, but as with all things shrouded in power and secrecy, the original purpose began to warp and twist over time. The protectors became the oppressors, the justices turned into tyrants. And so the Cosa Nostra, once a bulwark against injustice, began its journey into infamy. The organization that was born out of a need for protection against the powerful, would itself become a power to be feared and reckoned with. And so, born out of a need for protection, the Cosa Nostra began its journey into infamy. The stage was set for the rise of one of the most notorious criminal organizations the world has ever seen. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the evolution of the Italian Mafia in the next episode. How did a protective organization morph into a ruthless criminal enterprise? The transformation of the Cosa Nostra is a tale as old as time, a narrative of power, corruption, and greed, set against the backdrop of a society grappling with change. As this organization grew, it began to shed its protective skin, revealing a heart that was growing darker by the day. In the early days the Cosa Nostra offered a semblance of justice and protection to those who had none. But as the years rolled on, this noble purpose began to twist and contort, mutating into a desire for power and control. The Cosa Nostra's operations diversified, branching out into a plethora of illegal activities. Extortion, drug trafficking, gambling, these became the pillars upon which the Cosa Nostra built its empire. However, the Cosa Nostra didn't just limit itself to the underworld. Like a many-headed hydra, it slithered its way into various sectors of society. From politics and business to even the sanctified halls of the Catholic Church, the Cosa Nostra's influence spread far and wide leaving no stone unturned. But what truly set the Cosa Nostra apart was their Code of Omerta. This code, steeped in secrecy and silence, demanded absolute loyalty from its members. It was this unwavering allegiance that allowed the Cosa Nostra to operate under the radar, consolidating its power while remaining shrouded in shadows. Yet. With each passing year, the Cosa Nostra's grip tightened. The organization that was once a beacon of hope for the oppressed, had now become the oppressor. The scales of justice had tipped, leaving in their wake a trail of corruption, violence and fear. As the Cosa Nostra expanded its reach, it shed its protective skin, and revealed a heart of darkness. The transformation was complete. The protective organization had morphed into a ruthless criminal enterprise, its roots digging deep into the heart of society. But as we'll see in the next part of our story, the fight against the Cosa Nostra was far from over. But what has been done to curb the power of this criminal organization, you might ask? Well, the Italian state has been anything but complacent. Over the past decades it has taken a strong stand against the Mafia, launching numerous police operations, making high-profile arrests, and implementing stringent anti-mafia laws. Take for instance, the Maxi trial of the mid-80s. This mammoth court case saw over 400 members of the Cosa Nostra prosecuted, marking a significant blow to the organization. The proceedings were led by brave and determined prosecutors, among them the renowned Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino. Their tireless pursuit of justice tragically led to their assassinations, a stark reminder of the Mafia's brutal modus operandi. And let's not forget about the prominent Mafia figures who have fallen into the hands of justice. 
Men like Salvatore, the Beast Reina, who once led the Cosa Nostra and was responsible for countless murders. His arrest in the early 90s was a turning point, signaling the state's intensifying crackdown on organized crime. These efforts have been underpinned by a series of stringent anti-mafia laws, laws that have made it easier to seize mafia assets, to use state witnesses, and to prosecute members for a wide range of crimes. These legislative measures have proven instrumental in weakening the mafia's stronghold, but despite these victories the fight is far from over. The mafia has proven itself to be a resilient adversary, often adapting to new circumstances and finding ways to continue its nefarious activities. It's a testament to the enduring power and influence of this criminal organization. The fight against the Cosa Nostra continues, a testament to the enduring power and influence of this criminal organization. So, where does that leave the Cosa Nostra today? Despite numerous crackdowns, the Italian Mafia maintains a substantial presence, not only in Italy but globally. This criminal syndicate's influence stretches into various sectors from real estate to entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on our society. The Mafia's depiction in media, with films like The Godfather and series like Gamora, highlights its cultural impact, often romanticizing its dark reality. The legacy of the Cosa Nostra continues to ripple through our culture, a chilling reminder of the enduring allure of the underworld. In conclusion, the history of the Italian Mafia is a tale of power, crime and survival. We've journeyed from its humble origins in Sicily, through its descent into corruption, witnessed the rise of notorious leaders, and seen the relentless fight against this criminal organization. Today the Cosa Nostra persists, a chilling testament to the enduring struggle against organized crime. The fight against organized crime is ongoing and the story of the Italian Mafia serves as a stark reminder of this battle. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the heart of the underworld.